Hello, my name is Bernard Kast and today I'm going to do another showcase video about my presentation about German tank production in World War II numbers in context. Click on the link in the description or now shown in the video to go to the final product on my military history channel. Now let's get started and I walk you through it. In the beginning, just a simple number, how many tanks Germany produced. And then I talk about how I will break up the number and make it more meaningful. Then a simple production timeline. Here's the difference. I choose automated timing for the appearance of the chart in order to give a more clean effect. I wouldn't do that in a live presentation, but since it's more like an animated feature, I use a more automated approach. For the next part, I need the numbers still to be present in the mind of the viewer. Hence, I increase the transparency. And then I use another automated animation to talk about the increasing complexity. And if you want to know how to create these gear symbols and animate them, click on the link shown now in the video. And finally, I talk about the strategic bombing and that Germany was fighting on all fronts. For the next slide, I have a production hall in the background to give a context because I talk about how the production during the war time changed in Germany and that they were still producing civilian cars, for instance, and that they reached at a very final stage a mass production level, which is underlined by a little craftsman in the first illustrations and with the assembly line in the final illustration. The next is I talk about the cost, hence I took as a background some old money. Here's something new I learned. You can combine chart animation with the animation of objects that are not part of the chart. Let me show you how it's done. So you go to animations, go to animations pane. And then you have the different animations here. This part is in chart animation, as you can see, and this one is a tank animation. If you see here it's red, and now here it's uh, red is probably not the right color, light orange. And then you just regroup them. Just move them in. So basically you create your animation, then you have all of them here. And then you create the animations for the tanks and then you move them with drag and drop between the right positions and you choose the correct coordination with previous, after previous, on click. Then I take as an example one tank and explain how it was possible that it was so cost effective. And this little guy should indicate that slave labor was performed. It's not completely clear out of the visuals, but I thought, how can you visualize slave labor? I could have added a ball and chain to the little craftsman, but that wouldn't make really sense, I think. If I had no narration, I probably would have done it. But I think it's pretty clear if you move this little guy in and say, well, it was performed slave labor. So finally, I have another chart with production by type. Nothing special here. The next part is I just focus on two tanks and how to do this is simple. You need two slides and you need the chart of the first slide and make a screenshot of it. You can use save as picture. The problem is PowerPoint outputs a picture that looks different actually than it is displayed in the presentation mode. So what you do is you go in full presentation mode with the chart here. You press print screen and then you go to editing mode and you paste the picture and paste yeah, here we go and if you look you see it's actually bigger so you need to adjust it in size usually it's I think 36 percent I do it by hand now so the next step is you crop the picture to that part you want to show
And then you also need to ensure that it's on the correct position. In this case, I, I'm not gonna fine tune this. And then you need a simple transition, like a fade. So let's make a test. And here we go. As you can see, it's pretty simple. And then here I talk actually how these numbers are composed and how many sub variants of the tanks actually are included in these numbers. Nothing special here on this part. Well, and then I conclude the video. Also, thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. If you want to check out my other channel, click on the link below. And see you next time.